What's going on guys? I know it's been a while, but I'm back with a review for you. This one was actually uh, a request from a band called Versus Agora. They sent me an email and asked me if I would um, review their album Harakiri, to which I agreed. And I had never heard of this band before, you know, never heard any of the music or anything like that, so I was very excited. And so I'm just going to give you the review of this album, and it's, uh, wow. Okay, so the first track, it's like a short album too, it's only six songs, which was kind of tragic, because I was really enjoying everything I heard. And the first track, Samurai Tsunami, it just immediately the, in the intro you get this really strong Japanese vibe, you know, you can definitely tell they know what they're going for with their sound for this album, and it was just amazing. Then you have a sub drop, and then it just goes into like an immediately just really, I call it a bouncing riff, you know, this whole album is just really rhythmically genius pretty much. And it just goes immediately into this insane bouncing riff, and you just can't like start bouncing. Like, I actually started bouncing as soon as I heard it. It was just amazing, and it was just this whole this whole ride. It just takes you on. Like the tsunami part was definitely an accurate part of the title. It just took you on this huge ride. Just immediately, the first track just put like sets the atmosphere, sets you know the sound they're going for with the whole Japanese intro gets that vibe going, sub drops you immediately just into the wrist and into the wrist and into the wrist and into the wrist. And it was just, wow, it just kind of like hit you. But it was, they set you up for the hit so you knew it was coming so you could brace yourself and they're just like, wow, great. Yeah. And then just, there's a moment, like if you, if you listen to the song and you, there's a moment in one minute and 54 seconds in the song where I just said, wow. I just said, wow, I was like, okay, this is going to be a really good record, I'm going to enjoy this, just wow. So when you listen to it, make sure you pay attention to the scrubbing rate, because at 1 minute 54 seconds, just wow, wow and wow. So, yeah, wow, crazy. Yeah, so, second track, Book of Medora, Medora, probably. So it has this really nice opening that just immediately reminded me of anime. I just thought of... You know, no, not like an intense anime opening, like, you know, Death Note had or anything, more like a, a One Piece opening, or maybe like a Naruto opening, you know. Not too intense, anything, but very, you know, like, calm and chill. And they did this build-up to transition to the next part, where it wasn't a sub-drop, and it wasn't like a build-up, and then a silence, and then music. It was like a build-up that faded into the next part, you know. And the next part was just like... I put Groove Adventure, because after it goes into that transition, you know, that build up and then fades into the groove, I, it just reminded me of just pretty much like an anime. This, 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 this song pretty much reminded me of like an anime episode, you know, you had, you know, the, the build up and then you, you go into the story and you had like suspense or the first part of it sounded really suspenseful and then there was a part that was just really intense and just really gritty and kind of made you like, you know, just... Ugh, you know, you just felt like the intensity of the moment in the music, and then there was the ending, which kind of reminded me of like, you know, a, a flashback. You know what I mean? Like it was kind of like you know, an anime episode where there's a huge battle. So you had the you had to build up, and then you know, went to the adventure part where it was like suspenseful, where they were like you know, trying to find the villain, and oh, you know, did this person get killed by the villain, or what's the villain doing with this, or whatever, you know, and then the intensity when they like find the villain, and that's when the fight starts, and the fight, fighting, 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 and then the flashback part was kind of like. Uh, how do I describe it? Where, you know, when Naruto, during the whole pain war thing, where he was fighting pain, and he went, like, eight tails, but he met his dad, you know, in the chakra verse or whatever it was called, you know, and then that calmed him down, you know, made him happy and everything, and, no, it was his mom, I think, he met. Oh, no, that was when he was, like, nine tails, okay. Yeah, okay, so when he met his dad during the whole, like, pain arc, when he went nine tails and was sealed in the Chibaki Tensei up in the sky, you know? And then he was like about to go full nine tails, lose all control and all this stuff. Yamato was freaking out trying to get back to the village and it was crazy. And then he met Yamato, like his dad, you know. I mean, Hinato, sorry. And he was just like calmed him down, helped him gain control, and then he went back into the fight. You know, so 
But there was like those three separate the like the suspense and then the intensity and the flashback and it was just like it just reminded me of an anime battle, like a really huge like anime battle. Like a really important anime episode, you know. So that was really great. That was just amazing. So Book of Medora was just like to me an entire like anime, you know, battle battle episode. You know, so it was great. And then we have the title track, Hara Kitty, track number three, and there's no build up, there's no like atmosphere setting, they shit you straight into it. And it's just like right in there. You know, and it's just heavy and it just like crushes you, you know what I mean? It just like it doesn't even like grab you, it just like throws it all at you all at once. And that was awesome. Cause the last, cause the last song into, you know, like, you know, kinda kinda not too crazy, not too intense, and Hot Kitty just comes in and just like get you just like that awesome awesome and they do this like in one minute into the song they do this insane shugging and there's this excellent just guitar melody over it. and it was just so smooth and so buttery it was like if you have a really really dry piece of bread but then you like have some like butter you just like you know just put right over it it's just it just rolls on there really smooth just awesome awesome I loved it and then they do like these harmonies and I'm just like wow like wow 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 and it was just and then the ending yeah I have ending with an exclamation point the ending was just like mind-blowing like I did not expect the song to end the way it did like that was just dope that was great. That ending was like, wow. The ending was amazing. The ending of the song was just amazing. All right, and we have track four, the aftermath. So this one, whereas Book of Mudora reminded me of an anime opening, this reminded me of like the outro credits, you know, and not just like the regular outro credits. It was like. If, if it was the outro credits for, like, the, the last episode of the series, you know what I mean? Like, the finale of the series as a whole. Which, you know, fits the title, I guess. It was dark, and it just kind of just... It would just it started out with a really sinister feel to me. Like, it just felt, like, really dark and kind of evil. And then 38 seconds in, they, they shift the mood completely, and I just felt, like, sad. You know, I just felt like... It went from evil to sad, you know, and I... I felt it in here, which was weird, you know, like, I felt sad, and I was like, wow, this is really, really sad, like, 30 seconds in, the mood just shifts, and it's just straight sadness, and just, wow, so, yeah, I don't know how they managed to transition moves that smoothly, but it was, wow, I was just like, wow, my emotions, <laughs> but it was great, and then, yeah, bass solo, all caps, five exclamation points, wow, like, not only do the bass sound good, but, that solo was just amazing and wow I'm like I was not expecting that and that solo just like destroyed me I was like oh wow I'm like, I was like wow and there's not even anybody over there but wow the bass solo was dope miss great 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 and guitar squeals Ugh. put an exclamation point by that too awesome 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 and then it gets into a little bit of a happier mood you know like this this one kind of it, it kind of wrapped up the first four tracks, I would guess, or the first three tracks. It kind of, like, completed the story, you know? It was just it was just an excellent wrap-up of things, you know? It started off dark and then went sad and had, like, a bass solo to kind of, you know, transition from, you know, the, the darkness part to the happier part. And then it got happier, and it was just a dope. I can't read what I wrote there. Yeah, but I can't remember it there, but yeah, just this track was, this track sounded like the final track of the album to me, you know, and I, I thought that like as soon as I heard it in, I was like, wow, it sounds like this, this should be the last track, you know, and so yeah, but I'll talk more about that when I talk about the album as a whole, but yeah, so we're going to go on to track five, Zebra Attack, which I just think is a cool title, that's just great, you know, awesome. And it just reminded me of, like, a battle scene in, like, a bamboo forest. Like, if you ever seen, um, 
not the way of the warrior, but there's probably seen that too, but it was like this one movie about this samurai who went out to the west or something, and there's this scene where he gets attacked by this group called the Sad Flutes, and they just are jumping through bamboo, and he's in a bamboo forest, and he's fighting in a bamboo forest, and that, that's what this whole thing was like. This whole thing reminded me of that, just like an entire battle in a bamboo forest, you know, like jumping off shoots, standing on them, cutting down whole, like, sections of bamboo with a single swing of your sword, like, amazing, just, the whole visual I got was just an entire bamboo forest fight, and it was just amazing, and it was just, I kind of got lost in this one too, I was just like so kind of stuck in my imagination about the bamboo fight, so, uh, I, all I wrote down was getting attacked in a bamboo forest, because after that, my mind was just, like, creating scenarios along with the music. So I really, really just got lost in this one and just really enjoyed this one a lot. And so the final track, Dead Fish. Okay, so last night I watched it for the first time, like 2017 version. And the intro of this song kind of reminded me of, you know, after, when they go in the house to confront Pennywise, and um, the chick stabs him in the head and he retreats into the well and then after they defeat him he like falls you know deeper down into the well and stuff like that the whole intro just reminded me of that like i don't know why but just like the mood and the sound just kind of reminded me of like those moments from that movie so yeah so that was that was interesting i don't know i don't know why why my brain registered that with the music but awesome cool and then it got like kind of like technological you know, it kind of got like, you know, it went from like, you know, like, kind of like horror movie-ish to just like straight up technology. Like, I felt like I was going into like the Matrix or whatever, you know, in the movies where you see those like tubes that have like computer coding all on the side and they're like three-dimensional and they're doing all that twisty-turny stuff. Yeah, that's, that, that, that's a new one I went to after that, so I went from like Deadly Clowns to the Matrix. So, yeah, and this, rhythmically, this song was just... Yeah, I wrote rhythmicity of it all. I'm not sure if rhythmicity is actually a word, but just like the rhythms and this rhythmically, this one was the tightest and the best sounding and just had the best, you know, bounce and feel and groove to it out of the whole album, really. And it was just, I, I was just, wow. There's the rhythmicity of it all just like destroyed. I was like, wow, this is great. Like they really packed everything into this like final song. It was great. And then I wrote bass solo plus drums. What with two A's in all caps and three estimation points because there was another bass solo and it was amazing. And the drums complemented that bass solo so well and it was awesome and orgasmic and I loved it. Oh wow. It was great. And not only do the drums sound great with that bass solo, but there's also a part where the drums are uh, doing a bell, and it was just like, the drums just fit so well. Like, drum-wise, is probably the best sounding song, because the drums, like, not only sound good on their own, but they just fit so well with the rest of the music and in the mix, and it was amazing. The drums really shone through the best on Dead Fish. Just amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And... Looming. Yeah, okay, so after the bass part, there's like a little section where it just kind of felt like... You know the like Inception blah that everyone makes fun of? It just kind of made me feel like that, like there was just something looming like over the horizon and there's just something like looming over you down watching you. And then, excellently placed pitch, pinch harmonics. Yeah, just like, there was another song they did those pinch harmonics in, but I forgot what it was, but they're like, and they, they never do a lot of pinch harmonics, just like, and like, oh wow, that was great. Like, it fit perfectly, you didn't expect it, but when they do those, like, crazy pinch harmonics, awesome, 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 awesome. And the outro was just perfect. Like, the outro was like, I was not expecting that. Like, because like I said, you know, like the aftermath, you know, it felt like a really good album ending, but it didn't even have as good of an outro as, you know, Dead Fish. Because the outro for Dead Fish just perfectly was like a perfect wrap up. You know what I mean? It was just like, it ended the song perfectly. It like ended the album perfectly. Like, 
it ended just like within the context of itself within just dead fish with all the rhythm stuff they did and all the bass solos and like the drums and everything like it just wrapped everything up in, the, in that song in itself perfectly and in the album perfectly so uh yeah Katakiri my versus Agora definitely definitely amazing you know, they, these guys, you know, they have parts that remind me of Intervals, parts that remind me of Intervals as leaders, parts that remind me of Angel Vivaldi, you know, you know, parts that remind me a little bit kind of Polyphia too, like, it's just, these guys really, really know what they're doing, man, like, and these guys have a new band, because like I said, I've never heard of these guys before, never listened to them, but this album, like, they keep the Japanese feel, all the way through, like, all the way through, it's very strong, the presence of, you know, like, the influence is very, very strong in all the tracks, and it was just amazingly, like, I'm not sure if, it, I'm not sure if I should call it a concept album, it's not one, but to me, this is, like, an excellent concept album, you know, and the first four tracks, you know, like I said, the Aftermath felt like the last track of the album, felt like that should wrap up it, wrap up the album, but it felt like the first four tracks were the main story, like Samurai Tsunami was, you know, the first chapter. And then the aftermath was the last chapter, and Zebra Attack and Dead Fish are just, you know, oh, well, let me see. I guess Dead Fish would be the epilogue, and I guess Zebra Attack would kind of be like a bonus like maybe like a bonus scene or maybe a bonus little story addendum to the main story that was the first four tracks because the first four tracks definitely you know came in and went out like it was that was the main story like i felt like samurai tsunami book of midora harakiri and the aftermath were the main story points and the last two tracks were just an excellent addendum to that because like i said dead fish just wrapped everything up perfectly with that outro just spot on why it was it was an excellent ending and so i felt like it was like a a book you know like or a manga and there we go manga however you want to pronounce it so but yeah it was just and it was really well mixed like the guitars like i the, it wasn't like the, when because like there's a lot of times when you hear chugging and it just kind of sounds like either too crunchy or just kind of like not gummy, but a little muddy, I guess. And the the guitars are nice and crisp. Like they were very, 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 very well recorded and well mixed, and the tones were really nice. And the bass tone was amazing, and the drums just sounded great. Everything was mixed so evenly and so well. And when it was time for a melody line over something or a solo, you know, it still sounded really good. You know, and it was just amazing. Like this whole album, like I wish it was longer. Like six tracks, man. Like, wow. It was just, it, it took you for a ride. It really just takes you for a ride. And if you like Japanese culture, Japan, or like just Japanese music or anime, like, you're definitely going to like this. But, uh, yeah, just, um, yeah, definitely check this out and go buy it. I really enjoyed this. Like, I, w I was not expecting this either, you know. But, okay, instrumental, Japanese theme. Never heard this band before, cool, okay, let's do it. And then I just listened to it, and by the first track, I already said wow, like, twice. So, wow, these guys just, they killed it. And they killed it. So, versus Agora, Hari Kitty, go buy it. Thank y'all for watching. If you want to see more of these, like, comment, subscribe. And if you're in the metal band or anything like that, and you want me to review yours, just send me an email or something like that. And, yeah. But definitely, definitely go check this out. It's awesome. It's great. It's dope. It's rhythmically awesome. And yeah. Thank you all for watching. Rock on.